adjusting the pH you wouldn't really have to adjust the pH in my particular case, but just for the folks listening, what are some general recommendations as far as how to adjust the pH? Now you mentioned for down, it would be some sort of acid, right? Are you talking phosphoric acid or you're talking something else? And then also what would you generally use to adjust the pH upward? It really depends on if you're an organic grower or not. In organic production, the only two products that are allowed to lower water pH are citric acid, or I'm sorry, organic acids, but generally that's citric acid. So any organic acid could reduce water pH and that's allowed. Um, Organic acids have, you know, carbon. And the most common and the least expensive is citric acid. Um, And the other option that's more, even more economic and really the only viable option for growers that are growing at scale is sulfuric acid. Um, sulfuric acid is pretty uh, caustic. You got to be careful working with it. You just be careful with the PPE. And um, if you're, you know, for growers like around me who are reducing their water pH, they use sulfur burners, which is a technique that used to be used in indoor um, cultivation. Oftentimes you're like essentially sterilizing a room with a sulfur burner. This is different. You're, in, you're burning sulfur and injecting it into your irrigation water and it reduces the pH. But for small growers, organic acids are generally the best option. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, I guess, what I could say there. You know, some people get creative with, like, different ferments, um, you know, really acidic ferments. Or, you know, in theory, you could do it with, a, with like, a humic substance. But it doesn't make sense because you're, you're really trying to do this in a, on an ongoing basis. So to continually reduce water pH with a humic acid would be overdoing it um and then ph up i rarely am increasing ph because generally an easier way to do it is just put just push your soil ph up a little bit and then when you water with an acidic water in a and you water a high ph soil they combine and create a really good optimal ph so in my opinion you just want to line your soil up um and it's okay to use a slightly acidic water. Now, sometimes, occasionally, if I like over pH, you know, if I'm, if I'm reducing the pH of my water and I overdo it, I'll just throw in a little bit of powdered lime, calcium carbonate. Um, the bottled products that are, are more common would be like potassium bicarbonate and things like that. But again, I can't, there's just not many instances when I'm recommending an increase in the water pH. Um, Usually I'm decreasing pH and really I'm just, personally, I decrease pH most often when I'm doing foliar sprays. I like to decrease my foliar spray solution. Um, It improves the efficiency of the foliar and I always just use citric acid. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. (laughs) 